Hey there folks, Uniform Guy again here with another review and in this video we'll be taking a look at another captured Russian uniform from the current ongoing war in Ukraine. The uniform in front of the screen now is in a silver birch camouflage pattern. This pattern was originally developed in the late 50s and was made into a one-piece coverall suit which was issued to paratroopers and some board guard units. The one-piece coverall suit was then changed to a two-piece disposable suit which was originally issued to MBC troops but was then issued to all soldiers taking part in the Russian-Afghan war of the 1970s. The two-piece suit was continued to be made up until 2018 and this particular camouflage pattern and type of two-piece suit has found favour with special forces units. So the one we have here in front of the screen is from a Russian Spetsnaz or Special Forces unit and consists of a shirt and trousers. The shirt has standard epaulets, has two large breast pockets, is button closing at the front with the collar button being the only one visible, the other ones are hidden. There is also elbow reinforcements and button closure cuffs. The trousers have a button fly, feature two slash pockets at the top, two cargo pockets on the thighs, knee reinforcement and seat reinforcement. The legs at the bottom also have cord in them so they can be tied up for blousing. This uniform has seen the same updating with the addition of velcro to the chests and sleeves. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video, take it in closer, show you um, all the pieces and insignia up close. Right, so here we are, closer to the uniform. And the first thing you'll see is here, we have a Chechen Volunteer Battalion patch. This is uh, quite a heavy rubberized patch sewn onto Velcro, so it is Velcroed to the uniform. Underneath we have a tape which reads in Russian, Russian Armed Forces, and again this is Velcroed on. On the other side of the chest there is Velcro where one assumes there would be either a name patch or maybe a reuse blood patch. Have the uh, epaulets as well, They're just your box standard epaulets, which feature the pea green plastic buttons which is heavily all over this uniform. As you'll see, the uh, collar button matches that. It's the one, I said the only one visible. All the other buttons are hidden under the front. So if we look at the sleeves, see the uh, Velcro edition here, you may also be able to see some white markings where the original insignia was removed and was updated with Velcro. You can see the same on this side as well, just above this piece of Velcro. So if we talk about this uh, patch first, this is the um, Chechnyan Spetsnaz, that's what that word there says, Spetsnaz, and this is the late Chechen leader, and this says, I believe it's something like General Hero for Russian Armed Forces, or something odd like that. It features the Russian flag, the Chechen flag, and then it's got a Chechen flag shield with the leader's first surname initial. Let me show you here, you may also be able to see the reinforcement patch for the elbow. It's uh, quite, quite small. And we have the button cuff, it's just there. If I turn this inside out, you might be able to see it's like the heavy canvas style material I was talking about. If we go to this side, the sleeve's the same, same was it reinforcement. And the uh, only patch we got here is the typical Russian tactical patch in full colour. Got the large breast pockets, feature the same buttons which are hidden under a flap. And they are very, very large. I mean they're about, I'll say very large, about hand size, so fit some documents in there. If we 
go down to the trousers. So we'll see, got the waist button is visible, but the buttons for the button fly would all be hidden again. We've got the slash pockets, which are of a reasonable size. Got the cargo pockets, which again feature the hidden button feature on them. We have the knee reinforcements here and here. And then for the seat reinforcement, we'll um, show we've got the large seat reinforcement. An interesting one on this one is it's had the seams on the legs artificially sewn in. Just notice there is a bit of staining there as well. And if we go down to the bottom of the trousers, you can see the uh, cord sort of starting to come apart in some places. But you can also see inside the white canvas. So this is a very, very sort of inflexible uniform. It's very rough. I would, would not like wearing it, but yeah, it's uh, quite unusual to see in theory, two separate uniform, two separate unit badges on there. We've as I said we've got the uh, volunteer battalion, and we've got Spetsnaz. But um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed uh, looking at this uh, uniform, and uh, thanks for watching.